going on guys, it's Ashley here, welcome back to another Wolves video. Today I'm going to be talking about the game between Southampton and Wolves, which ended a Wolves win eventually, but we definitely had to work for hard for it, and um, our second half performance uh, definitely um, paid dividends to the results. Definitely didn't see the, um, the result coming um, at half time, um, especially how we played in the first half. Um, we were quite poor, uh, we had a good start, um, but good starts, you have to make that good start count, um, and we definitely didn't make that good start count, and Southampton punished us for it, uh, Jan Bednarek uh, scored in the 15th minute and 20 minutes later, Shane, Shane Long doubled their advantage, and, you know, when you, when you usually go 2-0 down, um, you don't really expect anything, um, well, certainly from any other team, if any other team went 2-0 down um, in a game, um, you, you probably wouldn't wouldn't expect anything. But j we, we just have something special um, about the second half, and when, when especially when we're struggling in a game, um, at half-time, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what Nuno does to the team, um, but he... He gives them that motivation to go on in the second half and turn it around, and we definitely did that. Um, about 10 minutes into the second half, Pedro Neto, who uh, got a consolation goal uh, against Watford on New Year's Day, um, he uh, got his second Premier League goal. Um, and um, yeah, it put us right back in the game. We were much better than, better in the second half. We were quite poor in the first half, and we were definitely. Uh, deserve to be 2-0 down at half time because we just we just weren't good enough and and uh, we seem to ha have a dislike for some reason um, to the first half. We we never seem to score in it and we never really seem to do well in it because we we just um, we we just seem to uh, go one nil down um, quite early on in games quite often. Um, but we managed to claw it. <laughs> uh, we managed to claw it back. Um, uh, quite often in games, and um, as, as I said, a sec our second half performance definitely paid dividends to the results. As Pedro Neto got a goal back, and then we just we just went from there. A, def a, a clear penalty uh, that wasn't spotted, but VR. Well, it had a good day. It definitely had a good day today. It, it's it's really not gone for us this season. VAR. We've had so many countless, countless decisions go against us this season, but finally, it seems to be turning our way, and it turned our way today at the right moment because it it overturned the referee's original decision, uh, and it gave us a penalty, and it gave us an opportunity to get back on level terms, which Raúl Jiménez took, um, and we were definitely back in the game then at two two. And it's it, pr it probably isn't it probably isn't um, better than probably isn't better than a comeback against Man City because a comeback against Man City is even harder because when you go two 0 down to a team like Man City, it's very hard. Um, it's it's very hard to come back because they're so compact and they're so organised, but. When you go to a, two 0 down to a team like Southampton, no disrespect to them because obviously um, they're, they're quite a decent side and they've, they've um, before this game they were uh, on quite a decent run of form. Um, when you're two 0 down to a team like Southampton who are trying to get themselves out of trouble um, and well in this case trying to put themselves clear of trouble. Um, when you're 2-0 down to a team like Southampton and you get a goal back, there's always a chance. There's always a chance uh, the comeback uh, could be on. And obviously, um, it it, uh, it was on this time around. Jimenez stuck the penalty away. And and uh, in the 76th minute, Jimenez completed the comeback. And for the, uh, for the second time this season, we've come from 2-0 down to beat... Uh, to beat a team 3-2. We beat Man City 3-2 from 2-0 down, and now we've 
uh, done the same to Southampton as well, uh, which is absolutely insane. Um, and we're up to sixth in the table, and we've got our uh, first win uh, in four league games, which is uh, a welcome win because um, we've been partly st- uh, well, we have been struggling, uh, but partly we haven't had decisions go our way uh, in that time, and partly we just haven't really been good enough. Um, so it's a nice win to get. It's a nice three points to get. It puts us up to sixth in the table, um, and in a, a much better position now. Uh, we're level on points with Manchester United, and um, at the moment things are looking um, a lot better and a lot brighter. Um, so. Well, I say things are looking a lot brighter. We do have Liverpool at home next. And uh, we all know what happened um, last time we played Liverpool. Um, but hopefully um, we can put in a good performance against Liverpool. Uh, with a rotated side, we put in a very good shift against uh, Liverpool at Anfield um, a few weeks ago. So hopefully uh, we can do the same uh, in the reverse uh, fixture on Thursday. Uh, which is a very weird time um, for a Premier League kickoff, um, but uh, yeah, um, hopefully we can get that. Well, we can at least put in a good performance. I was going to say hopefully we can get three points over Liverpool, but uh, yeah, that would be quite difficult, wouldn't it? Considering um, they've they've, won- they've only uh, dropped points in one of their games uh, this season. Hopefully we can put in a good performance anyway against Liverpool on Thursday uh, but for now that is a very welcome three points after um, after um, receiving a tough t- a tough time um, in the past few games but uh, anyway um, if you did enjoy this video make sure to smash that like button um, and I shall see you on Friday with a review of the Liverpool game until then goodbye guys <laughs> Oh,